Time for another isolation conversation, and it's my pleasure to be joined today by the brand new head track and field and cross country coach at SIUE, Marcus Evans. And it's not just a welcome, but it's a welcome back. Yes, yes, I am super excited. Um, you know, something I've always thought about is, you know, when am I going to be able to come back to SIUE? And uh, absolutely a dream come true to come back as a head coach and, uh, you know, familiar with you, Joe, familiar with so many people, Jackie on campus, Lindsay Schmidt. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing to be back and see so many familiar faces. So, you, you know, that, that brings up a good point, but, but obviously there was something special about SIUE, about your time there as a student athlete um, that you held fondly, because plenty of people you know, can play at an institution and be part of an institution and move on and go about their lives. Um, what compelled you to want to come back to SIUE? It's 100% the family atmosphere, um, just that togetherness, that community that SIUE has. I think, especially when you're looking at a state school, um, you don't get that a lot. You don't, you don't have that togetherness. I mean, I was, I was talking to my wife last night. We, we were both track and field athletes, obviously, but we were just thinking about all the people that we still talk to from SIUE. Um, and it's not just, you know, on the track and field cross country side, it's, we have soccer friends, we have basketball friends um, that we're in constant contact with. And that's not normal um, as far as I understand in a college setting. Um, and so that just tells you how special this SIUE community is and, and how we support each other. I mean, uh, I've gotten more texts than I've ever thought I, I could get. Uh, but it's all from people who I consider family, and there are a lot of people who who I met at SIUE. So, and and obviously Lipscomb too was a special place for you because you don't stay yes. at an institution for mm-hmm. nine years if that's not a special place. Yeah, and I mean again, Lip, Lipscomb is very different in in a lot of ways. You know, you're looking at four thousand students on campus, uh, a, a Christian school, um, and so you know, a lot of the same things that I got to experience at Lipscomb were things that, you know, I am seeing at SIUE and and saw as a student athlete. And so, you know, that student athlete experience, making sure that, you know, our kids are taken care of um, is really important. And I see that, uh, you know, in the direction from from Tim Hall. I, I see that with, you know, the people that I've dealt with, all the head coaches that I got to meet throughout the process. Um, that's really important to me. And I, you know, uh, it, it, it seems like a no brainer to come back to SIUE, but, um, you know, there's certain things as a head coach that you want to see in any program you're going to step into and every box just kept, kept getting ticked, uh, which is, which makes it even more exciting to come home. So we're in some crazy times, obviously, and, and, yes. um, most affected were the spring sports. So as a coach, with a spring sport that you're literally just getting into your season. And I know you've had, you obviously had an indoor season, but you're just getting into that outdoor season. um, And then things are abruptly cut off. You know, how did that affect you? How did that affect your kids at your program at Lipscomb? Yeah, it was, it was really, really tough. I think um, especially for the first two weeks, you know, a lot of our student athletes were like kind of holding out hope. It's like, all right, like, maybe, maybe we'll get to run in, you know, April, or, you know, maybe we'll get to run a couple of meets, or can we still be on campus, those types of things, as we, we were on spring break, uh, when we found out, or just about to go to spring break, and so our, I never saw my kids after that, Uh, you know, we told them the season's over, um, and I was actually the one who who had to break the news, uh, because my, our head coach was, was having a a child at the time, Um, so, you know, that was really tough. I, you know, it's like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I, like, I, we're, we're dealing with stuff at the hospital. Like, you know, you're going to have to be the guy to do this. Um, and so, you know, it was, it was just really tough. And, and one of the things that I just tried to do is constant com- communication. I mean, that's a big piece for me as a coach, no matter what. I want to get to know my student athletes on every level. It's not just the X's and O's. It's not just the chalk talk. It's like, you know, hey, how are things going with your girlfriend, boyfriend? Um, you know, what do you want to do when you're done with track, all of those things. And so, you know, because we were able to build those relationships over time, it made it a lot easier. Um, but Zoom calls with the entire team are very different than a team meeting when you're, all, when you're in the same room. And, and so um, luckily, we have some kids that 
stay in the area. Nashville uh, is where they call home. And so I'm, I've been able to, you know, social distance with them, talk to them uh, in person. But it, it was really tough. I mean, any student athlete will tell you, like, you know, there's, there's a mourning period because when you're in the middle of a season, you know, it's it's just so different than all right like my career is done at the end of your senior year or um you know hey our season ended because we lost in the conference tournament or or whatever that looks like it's just hey this outside entity says no go for the rest of the time and uh if if you know anything about track and field you know from indoor to outdoor there's usually a really big jump uh for a lot of student athletes especially our young uh, student athletes, freshmen and sophomore, they're just starting to get it. And so it, it just really stunk <laughs> to see them not be able to go through that. You, you talk about, and you told me, and when I talked to our director of athletics, Tim Hall, he told me one of the things about you is the compassion for your student athletes. And, and there are plenty of coaches that are highly successful that maybe don't necessarily have that same kind of relationship. You know, what made that kind of become a cornerstone of you as a as a coach? I think a big piece is just the relationships that I had with my coaches. Um, and um, success can never come without trust in, in my uh, mind. And so if if I can't get to know that person and, and almost know what they're going to say, know what they're going to think before, you know, I even present something, um, it's going to be really hard to communicate. And, um, you know, the big hardship in coaching is when you get that kid that things aren't just aren't translating for. And so I've always just tried and tried and tried until I, until I get through. Um, and so it's, it's just uh, based on my personality, like I'm a relational person. I love being around people. Um, and so I, I have to coach that way. I can't just be, um, you know, I can't be like super analytical and into the numbers all the time because that's just not how my brain works. I, I'm, I'm more of a creative and, and artistry type of person in that way. And so, again, it's I think it's just what suits my uh, my disposition is just to get to know people and then we can work through the X's and O's that way. Marcus Evans, our brand new head coach for the SIUE track and field and cross country programs with us. And that probably still sounds uh, pretty good coming off the. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it's so right. surreal. <laughs> right. I'm sure that it is. And, and you told me before we kind of jumped on air here that, uh, you know, one of the things that you're getting is some interest from from coaches. You will have a chance to kind of fill out some assistant positions within the program. Um, that's got to be a little bit of an overwhelming task, I would imagine, as a first time head coach. And all of a sudden, everybody wants to be your friend. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the nice part of it is that I am relational, like I, like I said earlier. And so I've gotten to know a lot of uh, coaches and, um, you know, through my career, it's always been a goal for me to be a head coach. And one of the things that a head coach will always tell you is, hey, just make sure you have people in mind, um, you know, watch other coaches. Um, and so I'm a, I'm a people watcher. <laughs> I love going to the airport just because there's so many people around and you get to see what kind of weird quirks I'm sure I have a ton of weird quirks that people watch watch for me but um, you know I, I I have an idea of the type of coaches that I'd like to work with um, you know I love coaching in community it's you know I'm I'm the I'll be the sprints hurdles jumps guy but that doesn't mean that I can't you know walk over to throws the throws ring and 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 watch and you know give my input um, but also let those coaches have that autonomy and make sure that they're getting everything they need um, and, and walk over to the cross country course uh, and, and watch practice, be at those meets um, and support those student athletes. Um, and so, you know, in our time at SIUE, we were, we were together. Um, you know, you couldn't really tell uh, from people who are friends, who was the pole vaulter, who was the distance athlete, who was the jumper, who was the sprinter. Um, and that's something that I'd like to bring back is, you know, we don't want to be in clicks just because we're a thrower. We've, we've got to be together as a unit. And that's the only way that we're going to be successful and hopefully work towards OVC championships and, and getting student athletes to nationals is having really strong groups and support in that way. Let me ask you, and 
maybe a, a kind of bringing up a difficult subject, but we're in a crazy time in our country. Um, sure. Race relations being what they are, tensions being extremely high. And you raised the point of, hey, we couldn't tell the difference between field athletes and track athletes and cross country and sprint and distance. That to me is one of the beautiful things about athletics. Absolutely. Because I think that we're taught and we learn that together we are way stronger than we are apart. How are you dealing with this within your own family, within your athletics family? How will you deal with, you know, talking to the student athletes at SIUE about what is going on in this country, you know, when it, when it comes to race relations? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we are in a, a really special place track and field wise because it's, it's probably the most diverse sport you're going to see. Um, I mean, you're talking body types, uh, racial background, economic background, all of those things um, bring a ton of diversity to our sport. And so um, understanding comes from sitting in a room and hearing what everybody has to say. Um, and I think that provides us with a really big opportunity coming in and, you know, something new and, and just saying, hey, like, let's, let's look at this from, you know, where we all have uh, similarities more than where we have differences and those differences are gonna you know start to move to the back burner um and, and that it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be tough because you know we're all we are all coming from different places so we have our implicit biases and, and things like that but you know as far as our family it's 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 been a tough couple weeks uh just to see um the things that still go on in in this country you know my my father was born in macon georgia my mother was born in St. Louis, so it's not something that I'm, I've, I've never seen before. But what, what's really encouraging is that you see students all over uh, our campus, all over campuses everywhere, uh, stepping up and, and, you know, talking to their parents about these things, talking to their friends about these things um, to, to try to make a difference. And so it's, it's been encouraging on top of that tough time. Um, and again, just, you know, I, I'm a big person. I just, I just want to, you know, show my student athletes love. Um, and, and from that, I think you can have a, a whole bunch of different conversations uh, that can, that can go from that. So that's, that's just my approach and, and where we are, I guess, as a family. We've talked about family and relationships and, and you mentioned it briefly, but Megan, your wife was a track and field student athlete at SIUE, yes. obviously, yes. Um, you know, just adding to what made SIUE special, but now you've got a chance to raise your son closer to home for both of you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's the that's probably the icing or the icing on the cake or the cherry on top is that um, we have so many relationships in St. Louis, um, and you know, he Asher gets to you know, I, I I said I think in my interview, you know, Asher gets to meet the SIUE family. Um, and and he's, he already has in a lot of ways because, you know, we, we still talk to so many friends and they come to our, come to Nashville and visit us, but now it's going to be a hop skip in, instead of a hop skip and a jump <laughs> um, with those, those five hours away uh, that we were now that now we're going to be 15, 10 minutes away. Um, and, and I just think about, you know, people like Chris Wright, uh, a teammate of mine who, who works at SIUE now, um, you know, he just, had a son we've got we're good friends with uh the the twins who played soccer here and Sade and their husbands ran with us they're both one one is expecting one just had a child and so just thinking about being again in that community um but also you know meeting some new people some newcomers to the community um and people that you know maybe I wasn't uh, aware of at the time uh when I was a student athlete because I was you know running from practice to class um, and then back to the, uh, you know, maybe back to the VC to get some training, hopefully getting to the cafeteria at some point and then going home to Cougar to, to cash out. Um, you know, I'm just really, it's just really exciting. Uh, you know, I, I, my favorite color is red. So I want to, I want to douse him in red and Adidas right now. Um, I, I'm, I'm not wearing red yet. I'm, I, I still got to get all my stuff, uh, you know, once I get to the office, but um, yeah, just really, really exciting time. And, and, it, it was funny, you know, I kept checking on Megan throughout this process, like, hey, are you sure you're good? You know, I know she has friends too, but, you know, I didn't want it to be a selfish thing, like, hey, this is just something for Marcus. 
Um, and Megan was like, you know, this is, this is a chance to go home. And so that's why we keep, I keep saying that this is a chance to be home. This is a chance to be with family um, and reconnect. So that's so, so, so exciting. Well, we're so excited to welcome you back to campus, to welcome you back to the program that, that certainly helped make you. Um, I don't want to take too much more of your time. I know that you are getting set to make a move and talking to assistant coaches and old yes. student athletes and current student athletes and all of that, but I really appreciate you taking some time today. Oh, no problem. Anytime. I, I you know, I, my wife would probably say I love hearing myself talk more than anything. So uh, she, she's probably like, great. My wife says that it too. <laughs> it must be that, you know, mass communications, journalism back. Yeah, you got um, it. I never, I never used it <laughs> like you are, but uh, that must be it. Um, but yeah, man, I, I, I just can't wait to talk to you in person <laughs> and uh, talk to everybody. And, you know, hopefully we'll, you know, we'll do the elbow bumps, but hopefully we Absolutely. can progress to, handshakes and high fives soon. So uh, it's great talking to you and, and thank you so much. All right. Congratulations again. And, and yeah, exactly as you said, we'll talk in person soon. Sounds good.